Hello everyone. A very very good morning to all of you. Am I visible? Am I live? Give me a minute to confirm. If I am live, if I am visible, I will start the session ahead. Yes. So Sadaf, is my visibility, audibility, everything is good? Give me a minute. Am I visible? Am I audible to you guys? Is someone there to confirm my visibility, audibility? It's good. Yes, yes, it's working. Thank you, thank you. So I hope it's working. I welcome you all for today's session. A very, very good morning to all of you. I am Dr. Priyanka Sajdev here. And today I am here to take a very, very, very important topic from general microbiology. That is culture media. Just a second. So today I am going to teach you an important topic from general microbiology, culture media. And uh, from this topic, many, many MCQs come in your exam, in your competitive exam. And this topic per se is very important for second prof MBBS students who are going to write their university exam this year. Right. So we will be continuing with this topic. Let me start culture media. So I will be telling you in this uh, session. The classification of culture media, the various types of culture media and uh, the examples of each of them and the images, you know. Yes, uh, Ram S, uh, also this session is very important for FMG because, you know, many questions come. Nowadays, image-based questions are coming from culture-based media. You should be able to identify from the image which culture media is it. So, you have to learn three things. Number one, the classification. Number two, in each class, the examples and of each class, the image of that. So, if you learn that, you will be able to solve all the MCQs based on this um, particular topic and you will be able to write uh, theory also if you are a second prof student on this topic. So, let me start. So, basically what is a culture media? It can be solid, it can be liquid. It is a medium which contain nutrients. So, we provide nutrients to bacteria to grow. You, you got my point. So basically, we will grow bacteria in these culture media. They can be solid, they can be liquid. Now the point is that why we provide nutrients to bacteria to grow. Why we want to grow a bacteria. Now just suppose this is the specimen of my patient. The specimen of my patient, it can be blood, it can be urine, it can be CSF, it can be stool, it can be saliva, it can be anything. It is a specimen of my patient and I am suspecting the bacteria in this specimen. I want to confirm whether bacteria are present or not present and if they are present, what bacteria, which bacteria, name the bacteria which is present. So, I will take a culture media, the solid or liquid and inoculate the specimen on the culture media with the help of the inoculum the process is known as inoculation you got my point now in this specimen the bacteria are very small in amount very scanty in amount i must say but when we provide nutrition to these scanty bacteria we are providing the food we are providing the nutrition to the bacteria so they will divide 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 by binary fission they will grow they will go on division and multiple bacteria cluster together and they will form small small colonies so, on the culture media, we will get colonies. The colonies are the visible growth. Without any microscope, you can see them with the naked eyes. So, basically, it is the visible growth of the bacteria. So, if colonies are formed, it is sure, sure that the specimen contains the bacteria. If no colonies are formed, that means the 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 specimen do not contain the bacteria. So, once the colonies are formed, looking on the character of the colony, Different colonies have different character, character. By character, I mean their size, their shape, their color. Based on that, I can identify the type of the bacteria. So, this is the basics you should know the, about the culture media. You got my point? So, you tell me what is the culture media? You must say, ma'am, it is a solid or liquid. It is designed to support the growth of the microorganism or a cell, usually a bacteria. So, to grow the organism, organism from the infected material that is my specimen to identify what is the causative organism in that particular specimen. So, that is the definition of culture media. It can be solid liquid. So, you got it. Give me a thumbs up. Ram, Sadaf, Hari, Sri Ram. Give me a thumbs up if you got it. So, what are the basic constituents? So, these six things are present in all, in all culture media, whether it is a solid or liquid. That's why known as basic constitution. So, what are the basic constituents? Number one, water. We provide bacteria water. Water is H2O. So, a source of hydrogen and oxygen to the bacteria with the help of water. 
all culture media contain water the culture media contain electrolyte in electrolyte we provide nacl the salt basically the salt nacl so sodium chloride we are providing with the help of the electrolyte right number third is the peptone peptone is partially digested proteins it is available in the market it is in the form of the liquid and it contains protein so the source of the protein for the bacteria is peptone water it contains many protein all these proteins are present in that these are partially digested so we provide protein to, to the bacteria with the help of this peptone water right number four meat extract we provide bacteria meat extract it also available in the market in the form of a liquid right so we provide meat extract number five blood or serum whose blood blood or serum it's sheep blood not human blood we provide sheep blood 5 to 10 percent defibrinated sheep or um, uh, blood or serum to the bacteria and the last thing is agar last thing is agar you tell me what are the first five constituents the last one is the agar i will explain you what is agar can you tell me the first five number one water that is h2o number two electrolyte that is nacl number three uh, peptone water peptone water provides protein right number four meat extract meat extract also provide proteins and carbohydrates and the last one which uh, is the blood is blood or serum five to ten percent defibrinated sheep's blood so these are the five uh, basic components which are providing nutrition some some nutrition to the bacteria for example this provide h2o this provide nacl so they are providing some some nutrition but the last one that is agar that doesn't provide any nutrition no agar don't have protein don't have carbohydrate don't have fats don't have any nutritive value then you should ask me a question ma'am that why agar is added in the nutrient media so answer is to solidify it these five things which i have enumerated they all are liquid they all are liquid water is liquid nacl is liquid peptone water blood meat extract everything is liquid to solidify them we add agar so basically we add agar only in solid media not in liquid media if you want that media should be liquid don't add agar if you want it to be solid add agar so agar is the solidifying agent okay so it is a solidifying agent number one it doesn't have any nutritive value no it is a very important mcq it will jellyfy it is a jellyfying agent it will jellyfy uh, the medium right so the medium will become semi solid like jelly what is it it is a algae it is obtained from an algae known as gelidium species and it is 2% agar we are using we are using it is also an mcq 2% agar so it is having few properties it melts at 98 degree and it solidify at 42 degree it melts at 98 don't forget the melting point of agar is 98 so this is agar this is agar on adding agar the medium will solidify solidify or jellyfy you can say jellyfy so it doesn't have any nutrition no but it is a solidifying agent 2% agar is used right we use 2% agar and the melting point of agar is 98 degree so room temperature never reaches 98 degree we know that now you it is a mcq it is asked in the exam why we use agar as preferred to gelatin gelatin is also a solidifying agent then why don't we use gelatin does anyone know ram padmavati sadaf anyone know the answer why we don't use gelatin but we use agar to solidify the culture media both are a solidifying agent gelatin also solidify the culture media like agar only then why what is the answer does anyone know the answer does anyone know the answer say yes or no so because the melting point of gelatin is 35 degree 35 degree but in but in summers the room temperature can be 35 degree just suppose it is the month of the may april or may we have hot summers here right in summer the room temperature is more than 35 of course so at that point if we add gelatin it will melt the culture media will melt because the melting point here is 35 but if we add agar the melting point is 98 room temperature cannot be 98 so it is the difference in the melting point it is the difference in the melting point of agar and gelatin uh, that's why we prefer agar not gelatin melting point of agar is 98 degree and melting point of gelatin is 35 degree in summers the room temperature can be 35 so this media will melt but room temperature can never be 98 you got my point 
Osama, you got my point. So why we use agar as preferential to gelatin? This is the answer. So if you got the six basic constituents of culture media, let me come on the classification of culture media. How to classify culture media? We can classify culture media by three methods. Number one, based on the physical state, whether they are solid, liquid or semi-solid. Number two, based on presence or absence of oxygen, that is aerobic media and anaerobic media. And number three, based on their special nutritional factors, right? So based on the physical state, as I've told you, solid, liquid and semi-solid, they are of three type. Based on the presence of oxygen, they are of two type. If oxygen is present, they are aerobic. If oxygen is absent, they are anaerobic. So anaerobic bacteria, the strict anaerobes, the obligate anaerobes, they grow only in anaerobic media. One of the best anaerobic media is Robertson Cook media. Robertson Cook media is one of the best anaerobic media, you must say, and uh, that is anaerobic. And rest of them are aerobic, right? Number three is most important classification based on nutritional factor. So based on nutritional factors, basically they are of six types. We have to understand the difference between them and examples of them. What is enriched media? What is enrichment media? Now, most of the students have confusion here. Enriched and enrichment, they are entirely different. Only the spelling match, but they are entirely different. What is enriched media? What is enrichment media? What is selective media? What is differential media? What is indicator? What is transport? What is sugar? And you should know the examples with the diagrams of all of them. So nowadays image based questions are very very common especially in the competitive exam. So it is a very vital area from microbiology from which you can get IBQs of the culture media to identify it. They are like spotters. You got my point. So let me tell you the differences between them. So just a second give me a minute. So let me start with the enriched media. What is enriched media? Enriched media is such a media. Enriched media is such a media which contain three things either blood or serum or egg if any of them is present in any media such a media is known as enriched media you know there are humans we all eat food so some people they can eat anything whatever you provide in the plates they will eat but some people are very fuzzy you know they have many um, requirements so i will not eat this i will eat this i will so in the same way there are some bacteria which are very fuzzy you know so they require blood serum or egg for their growth otherwise they will not grow so for such bacteria, we have to provide special nutrition on a special media. So special media is known as enriched. So you can see the dictionary meaning of the enriched. Enriched means it contains more nutrition apart from normal basal uh, nutrition. In a plate of the nutrition food, I am providing all the basic things, the water, the anaceal, the peptone, the meat extract. But additionally, I am giving three things to the bacteria. Number one, either blood number two serum, number three egg, any of them. So such a plate which contains special of all these things, any of these things, it is known as enriched media. So the bacteria which are more exacting in their nutritional requirement require this media. So the first I am talking about enriched media. What is the definition of enriched media? Any media, any media which contain either blood or contain serum or contain egg. I am using the word or, or, so any of them, blood, serum, egg, apart from the basic constituents, basic to hai, basic ke alawa in tino me se kuch ek hai, to wo media is a special media and it is known as enriched media. So some bacteria require these things for their growth without which they will not grow. So tell me the examples, there are three examples of enriched media, very easy to understand. Number one, blood agar contain blood. Of course, blood agar contains blood. So that's why it is an enriched media. Streptococcus is the name of the bacteria which require blood agar for the growth. Otherwise, it will not grow. So learn the media. Learn what does it contain. Learn the bacteria. Number two, chocolate agar. Now, chocolate agar don't contain chocolate. Of course, the chocolate agar is known as chocolate agar because of the color. It is brown color looking like a chocolate. Can you see this is, I'm sorry, just a second. Give me a minute. Okay. This one is blood agar. It is red in color. And this one is chocolate agar. Can you see? This one is chocolate. So blood agar is red in color. But chocolate agar is brown in color. Looking like a chocolate. That's why known as chocolate. It doesn't contain chocolate. When we heat blood agar, na, 
when we heat blood agar so rbc got ruptured the rbc will get ruptured and they will the hemoglobin will come out and it will become brown color so basically chocolate agar is heated blood agar if we heat blood agar it will convert into chocolate agar you got my point so the second is the chocolate agar which also contain blood but the heated blood but the heated blood so nizeria and hemophilus are the name of two bacteria which require heated blood for their growth otherwise they will not grow right the third is the loffler slope loffler slope is a media which contains serum have you seen the diagram this is loffler slope this one is loffler slope you know it contains serum in it no blood no heated blood but it contains serum in it and cornibacterium diphtheri requires this medium so learn three examples can you see this one is blood red in color and this one is chocolate brown in color once we heat the blood agar it will convert into chocolate agar so chocolate agar is basically heated blood agar so these all are your ibqs you got my point now you can imagine the question if this is a spotter coming in your exam so you all can identify it is a blood agar it is a definite spotter blood agar but name the bacteria which require blood agar for its growth the name of the bacteria is streptococcus right now it is also a spotter looking at the media the brown color you can identify it is heated blood agar that is it is chocolate agar it is brown color but name the bacteria which require chocolate agar for its growth the answer is nizeria and hemophilus hemophilus influenzae these two bacteria require chocolate agar for their growth otherwise they will not grow the third you can see here the loffler serum slope again a spotter a test tube with a cream color the cream color growth in that it is typical loffler serum slope it contains serum in that so the name of the bacteria which require is the cornibacterium diphtheri you got my point so what is let me summarize in rich media everyone give me a thumbs up everyone give me a thumbs up everyone so what is in rich media enriched 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 media is such a media which contains one of the three things either the blood or either the blood or the serum or the egg any of these will work right in the blood i'm i'm writing heated blood also heated blood is also a type of blood only so either blood or heated blood or serum or egg so can anyone give me the example ram padmavati osama archana anyone so the example of blood is blood agar of course blood agar contain blood right heated blood agar is chocolate agar so chocolate agar also contain blood the heated blood right the serum the example is loffler's loffler slope right and egg agar is the egg agar egg yolk agar it is known as egg yolk agar right now tell me the name of the bacteria which require these blood agar is required by streptococcus chocolate agar is required by nizeria and hemophilus loffler syrup is required by cornibacterium diphtheri and egg yolk are required by many bacteria uh, such example clostridium uh, clostridium uh, uh, is the bacteria clostridium all the clostridium especially perfringens requires so these are the examples yes padmavati so you should understand the definition with example with images i guess the concept is crystal clear to you let me move ahead let me uh, move ahead thank you very much archana archana kulkarni thank you thank you for the feedback and uh, i must say you must stay connected for all the topics if you have trouble in any of the topic kindly let me know so we can cover that topic in our free youtube session right okay so let me move ahead so we have already covered enriched media now the next to be covered is enrichment media now let me clear there is no no you know similarity between the two now students always get confused enriched and enrichment enrichment and selective are somewhat related but enrichment have no relation with enriched so let me take the next two together enrichment and selective what do you mean by enrichment and selective enrichment and selective media what do you mean by that they are related so let me explain imagine i am having a specimen with me this is my specimen again specimen can be blood urine stool anything right now this is my culture media this is my culture media now this specimen contains some peculiar bacteria and i am having suspicion i want to grow this bacteria on this culture plate right so whenever i will put a drop of this culture media here it will form a colony the bacteria will form form a colony but what is the problem here there is a problem what is the problem the problem is that it contains some other bacteria also it is a mixed culture it is a mixed specimen it contains multiple bacteria so it contains many other bacteria also so if i do the inoculation other bacteria will also form the colony but i do not want that i do not want these bacteria to form colonies 
I want my bacteria of interest. This is my bacteria of interest. I want to grow this bacteria only. I do not want to grow other bacteria. So what to do? If I do the inoculation, all the bacteria will get the nutrition. All will get food. So all will grow. All will form colony. But I do not want basically the colony of other bacteria. I want colony of only one bacteria which is of my interest. Whatever it is. It is of my interest bacteria. I want to study that bacteria only. I want their colony only. So there are two ways. You will say ma'am, you can do two things. Number one, you add some stimulatory substances in your specimen. Stimulatory substances which will stimulate the growth of the bacteria of interest. Or you add some inhibitory substances in your specimen which will inhibit the other bacteria which are not of interest. So doing this is known as enrichment media. So don't add this in the specimen. In your culture plate, you add two things. Stimulatory substances and inhibitory substances. Stimulatory substances stimulate the growth of bacteria of interest and inhibitory substances inhibit the growth of bacteria which are not of interest. Adding these two things in the culture media. Adding these two things in the culture media make it either enrichment or selective. Now you will say ma'am what is the difference between the two? So if it is a liquid media I will say enrichment and if it is a solid media I will say selective. So basically these two are same. These two are same. So then which two I am talking about? Enrichment. It is not enriched. Mind my words. And selective. These two are same. The definition of both of them are same. In this definition, either I am adding stimulatory substances or inhibitory substances in them. Stimulatory substances, that is, that will stimulate the growth of the bacteria of interest. Bacteria of interest. And inhibitory substances that will inhibit the growth of bacteria of not in interest. Not in interest. Adding these two things in the media make them enrichment or selective. The point is that if it is a liquid media, it is known as enrichment. And if it is a solid media, it is known as selective. As for solid, as for selective. You will never forget them. You got my point. Sachin, Padmavati, Ram, Archana. I want thumbs up from everyone. Give me a thumbs up if you got these two concepts. Now students always have confusion. In these concepts so enriched is something different but enrichment and selective is something different first i want a thumbs up from all of you jitne audience utne thumbs up osama give me a thumbs up you got it yes or no ram archana padmavati sachin what about you so that is the definition i guess you got it i guess so let me start the two first i will teach you enrichment i will give you three examples which are liquid liquid media then I will teach you selective. Then I will give you three examples of solid. But the definition of both of them is same. I guess you got it, right? So see enrichment. So what is the enrichment media? You tell me. So we are adding some substances. Which substances? Either the stimulating substances which will stimulate the growth of the bacteria of interest or inhibitory substances which will inhibit, suppress the growth of other bacteria which are not of interest. And we are adding these in a liquid media. So it is known as enrichment media. So you got the definition, I guess. Now see the three examples. The three, all of them are liquid. I guess you can see the three liquids in front of you. I guess you can see. Now if they are liquid, the liquid is known as broth. You know, in microbiology, the liquid is known as broth. The liquid is known as broth. So the first example is tetrathionate broth. Can you see? This is, I'm sorry, this one. This one is tetrathionate broth. You can read it here. Tetrathionate broth. In tetrathionate broth, we can grow only typhoid and paratyphoid. Para that is salmonella. Salmonella typhi and salmonella paratyphi. Only salmonella will grow. All other bacteria will die. Only salmonella can grow in tetrathionate broth. The second is salinite F broth. In salinite F broth, only dysentery bacteria will grow. All other will die. Only this will grow. Right. And the third is alkaline peptone water. The suffix is not broth, but the suffix is water. So either the suffix is broth or the suffix is water. So all these are liquid, right? So you can see this one is alkaline peptone water. Here only Vibrio will grow. Other bacteria will die. Can you see the three examples? Selenite F broth, only dysentery bacteria will grow. Others will die. Tetrathionate may only Salmonella will grow. Other will die. And in alkaline peptone water, only Vibrio, Colery will grow. Other will die. So these three are liquid media in which only these bacteria can grow, other will die. Because they have stimulatory substances for these and inhibitory for others. So these are the three examples of enrichment media. So can anyone of you define enrichment? 
राकेश पद्मावती अमर राम ओसामा सचिन वॉट इज द एनरिचमेंट मीडिया फर्स्ट टेल मी इट इज अ सॉलिड और लिक्विड हु विल टेल मी इज इट सॉलिड और लिक्विड आई एम आस्किंग यू इज इट सॉलिड मीडिया और लिक्विड मीडिया येस यू ऑल आर राइट इट इज अ लिक्विड मीडिया येस इट इज नॉट सॉलिड इट इज लिक्विड द फर्स्ट थिंग द सेकेंड थिंग यू टेल मी वॉट इज द डेफिनेशन इट इज अ लिक्विड मीडिया इन विच वी आर एडिंग यस राम वी आर एडिंग टू थिंग्स द स्टिमुलेटरी सब्सटेंसेस फॉर द बैक्टीरिया ऑफ इंटरेस्ट फॉर द ग्रोथ ऑफ बैक्टीरिया ऑफ इंटरेस्ट एंड द इनिबिटरी सब्सटेंसेस राइट फॉर सप्रेसिंग द बैक्टीरिया ऑफ नॉट इंटरेस्ट सो दिस इज द डेफिनेशन येस वेरी गुड कैन एनी वन ऑफ यू गिव मी थ्री एग्जाम्पल्स थ्री एग्जाम्पल्स कैन एनी वन ऑफ यू प्लीज ट्राई इट सो द फर्स्ट एग्जाम्पल इज टेट्राथायोनेट ब्रोथ टेट्राथायोनेट ब्रोथ सेलेनाइट एफ ब्रोथ एंड अल्कलाइन पैक्टोन वॉटर can you name the bacteria for which they are peculiar can you name the bacteria tetrathionate growth is for all dysentery bacteria right so, uh, uh, it is for salmonella i am sorry it is for salmonella only salmonella will grow others will not grow selenite f growth is for dysentery bacteria only dysentery bacteria will grow other will not grow and alkaline peptone water is for vibrio cholerae only vibrio cholerae will grow other will not grow now you can imagine the image based question coming on them now you can imagine how many mcqs i can create what is the definition the first thing the clinch in the definition is liquid or solid right the image based question i can create the questions can be on examples the question can be on the bacteria i will show you the questions in the end don't worry so we are done with enriched we are done with enrichment right coming on selective the definition of selective is same as that of enrichment so here also we are adding either stimulatory substances or inhibitory substances stimulatory for the bacteria of interest and inhibitory to suppress the bacteria of not interest but not in liquid media in solid media as for solid as for selective so definition is same the only change in the definition it is a solid media not a liquid media you got my point so here also we are having three example number one dca the full form of d is dca is deoxycholate citrate deoxycholate citrate media dca the second is lj the full form of lj is lomonston jensen lj media and third is mcconkey so on dca only salmonella and shigella will grow other will not grow on lj only tb will grow mycobacterium tuberculosis other will not grow and on mcconkey only e coli will grow other will not grow so you have to learn can you see this is lj media you can see the cream color colony of tb you got my point you got my point so you have to learn the examples you have to learn the examples let me summarize let me summarize till now we have done three you got my point what is enriched media can you tell me the definition so the media contain either blood or serum or egg such a media is enriched media stimulatory uh, uh, enrichment and selective either they contain stimulatory or inhibitory stimulatory and inhibitory right the definition is same but this one is liquid and this one is solid first thing is to learn the definition the second step is to learn their three three examples in enriched i told you three example blood agar number 1 blood agar number 2 chocolate agar and number 3 number 3 lawfler serum slope lawfler serum slope three examples i told you three examples of enrichment all were liquid so tetrathionate broth selenite f broth right and alkaline peptone water right in selective also i told you three examples dca deoxycholate citrate agar lg medium levinson johnson medium and mcconkey agar so that is the second step you should know three three examples of each of them the third and the last step is to know the bacteria the name of the bacteria which grow on that exact bacteria and the last step to know their diagram now you can understand the question can come on the definition it will be a simple question the question can come on the examples it will be a little bit difficult second level question and the question can be on the bacteria which grow on that or on the diagrams ibq can also come it will be a difficult level question so you should be able to answer all whether definition is asked you are ready whether examples are is asked you are ready whether the image of the examples is asked you are ready whether the bacteria which is growing on that particular you are ready so you are ready for all we can create four four question on each of them i guess you got the concept behind that shall i move ahead shall i move ahead till now we have completed enriched media enrichment media selective media the definitions the examples the diagrams the bacteria now coming on the next is differential media everyone give me a thumbs up come on are you people with me can i move ahead 
कैन आई मूव हेड ऑन द फोर्थ मीडिया डिफरेंशियल मीडिया राकेश पदमावती ओसामा गिमिया थम्स अप अमर तो नेक्स्ट आई एम टेकिंग फर्स्ट इंडिकेटर मीडिया तो इंडिकेटर मीडिया व्हाट इज इंडिकेटर मीडिया सपोज आई एम हैविंग अ स्पेसिमेन दिस इज माय स्पेसिमेन द स्पेसिमेन कैन बी ब्लड कैन बी यूरिन कैन बी स्टूल कैन बी सीएसएफ कैन बी सलाइवा ठीक है आई एम सस्पेक्टिंग इट कंटेन्स बैक्टीरिया अ स्कैंटी अमाउंट ऑफ बैक्टीरिया आई एम सस्पेक्टिंग राइट I want to grow those bacteria, so I took a culture plate, and I'm inoculating one drop here, right? But the bacteria are very, very scanty in this uh, specimen. So when they will form colonies, na, they will grow, they will form colonies. So colony size is very small, very small, and colonies are invisible with naked eye. The colonies are invisible with naked eye. We cannot see the colonies; they are very tiny and small. So what we do? in this culture media in the background in the background i will add some indicator that is known as indicator media i will add some indicator so as soon as as soon as what does the indicator do as soon as a minute colony even a minute colony is formed it will change the color to let me know that colony is already arised although the colony is invisible but the change of the color will indicate that the growth is taking place you got my point that is the meaning of the indicator media indicator indicator have some indicator that change color on growth of the bacteria now whether colony is visible maybe the later on when the colony grows up grows up grows up then visible but before that even a minute growth will give me the change of color so i will come to know that growth is taking place although colony is not visible but growth is taking place that is the meaning of indicator media give me a thumbs up you got it so it is a media which contains some indicator substance which change color when the bacteria grows even a small bacteria growth binary fission taking place it will change the color so that is the example there are only two examples wilson and blair macleod you can see here this is a diagram of wilson and blair you all can notice i'm sorry this is the diagram of wilson and blair this is the diagram of macleod now wilson and blair will give color when salmonella typhi will grow and macleod will change in color when diphtheria will grow but the point is that both of them will give black color black color you can see black here also you can see black color here also so both of them give black black color pe question aata hai mcq jet black color the exact word is jet black both of them give jet black color when the bacteria grows on them so there are two examples number 1 wilson blair it also give black color and number 2 macleod it also give black color now wilson blair is for salmonella typhi when salmonella typhi grows then it give black color and macleod is for diphtheria when diphtheria grows cornibacterium diphtheriae then they grow give black color but in both of them the black color is common but the reason for black color is different what is the exact chemical which is giving black color what is the indicator you are adding just suppose this is wilson and blair and just suppose this is macleod macleod so here wilson and blair van salmonella typhi this is salmonella typhi growing then it will give black color and here van cornibacterium diphtheriae grow then it give black color let me show you this is the black color here this is the black color here okay but tell me the name of the chemical here and here which exact indicator chemical is giving the black color that is different on which many mcqs come so in wilson and blair actually uh, when when the colony growth takes place now just a second sulfite convert into sulfide mind my words please mind my words sulfite converts to sulfide which gives black color in wilson and blair but in Ma Ma macleod in macleod tellurite changes to tellurium which gives the black color you got you got my point if you got my point give me a thumbs up or write down in the chat box that you got it what i mean sulfide to sulfide and tellurium to tellurite tellurite to tellurium so that is giving the black color you got my point let me summarize again So can you tell me what is the indicator media ram can you tell me so indicator media there are two examples number 1 wilson and blair number 2 macleod the first thing students even don't know the example the first thing student even don't know the meaning of the indicator learn the definition we are adding some chemical here to give change in color that is known as indicator media there are two examples wilson blair and macleod the third thing you should know the name of the bacteria for which they are selective so wilson and blair salmonella typhi when grow it will give change in color and macleod when cornibacterium diphtheriae will grow it will give change in color but what is the change in color change in color in both of them when this grow here this grow here 
it will give black color so again the question is on color it is the black color but the reason for black color is different in wilson blair it is sulfite to sulfide oxidation give black color and here tellurium to telluride i am sorry telluride to tellurium gives black color so the reason is different you must be able to identify that you can imagine mcqs i guess you can imagine if you can't do it from your source whatever source you are following for mcqs now whatever app platform some book whatever do mcqs today only you will be able to solve all of them on this particular topic that is i'm sure right okay so we are done with the indicator media only two examples so enrich me three example enrichment me three example selective me three example indicator me two example the next is the differential the next is the differential media what do you mean by differential the word differential give different color to different bacteria different color different bacteria so there are substances which give different color to different bacteria so we can differentiate them that's why known as differential media so how many examples are there again i will give you three examples the first is the mcconkey can you see this is mcconkey so some bacteria gives pink color on the mcconkey and some bacteria give yellow color on the mcconkey can you tell me the reason there are some bacteria which have lactose lactase enzyme in them lactase enzyme present so they are lactose fermenter bacteria so they give pink color because of the lactose fermentation this media contain lactose sugar if lactose got fermented pink color is there and some bacteria are there which do not have lactase enzyme in them they don't have lactase enzyme so lactose sugar is not fermented so they will give pale color or yellow yellow or pale one and the same thing so lactose fermenter and lactose non lactose fermenter we can differentiate two types of bacteria based on mcconkey give me a thumbs up so on mcconkey the lactose fermenter and non lactose fermenter you can see the lactose fermenter gives pink color and non lactose fermenter give colorless or pale colonies the yellow colonies because they have lactase they do not have lactase give me a thumbs up you got it bharadwaj padmavati ram rakesh everyone any doubt please write down so that is the first example the second example is the xld xld what is xld xyloslysine deoxycholate xld in your option also you will get xld right if you don't want to learn the full form xyloslysine deoxycholate right now it will give black color if salmonella shigella is there can you see these black color colonies you can zoom and see and they will give yellow color if any other bacteria is growing any other bacteria any other coliform is growing they will give yellow color so salmonella shigella give black color but other coliform gives yellow color so they are differentiating the bacteria right that is xld the third is tcbs what is tcbs can you tell the full form thiosulfate citrate bile salt agar tcbs again i am repeating if you don't want to learn the full form it's okay it's okay in your option in your mcq you will get the full form you don't have to write but if you are in second prof mbbs even it's okay if you write tcbs now you will get full mark if you don't want to learn the full form but if you want to learn it's good right so that is tcbs in tcbs also you are having two color the yellow and the black right so vibrio give black color and other e coli give yellow color so that is for tcbs so here in differential we have learned three examples can you tell me the three examples which give different color so the first example is mcconkey okay let me take another page so differential differential media which give different color to different bacteria there are three examples you have to learn the examples with bacteria with diagram the first is mcconkey the first is the mcconkey media just a second give me a minute uh, give me a minute okay yes the first is the mcconkey second is xld and third is tcbs you know the full forms i guess so mcconkey gives two color the pink and yellow right so pink and yellow xld gives two color the black and yellow right and the tcbs also give two color the black and yellow and you must know which gives which color so pink is the lactose fermenter yellow is the non lactose fermenter here black on xld is salmonella and shigella yellow are all other e coli all other coliforms here black on tcbs is vibrio coli and yellow is all other coliform so you should be able to differentiate them you can imagine the mcqs coming on them with their image based diagrams image based questions are very common from this area so coming on the next one last one is transport media i guess the last one is the transport media so as the name indicate transport what do you mean by transport imagine this is my patient 
the patient is in a village the patient is residing in a village in some periphery in some village the patient is sick so i want uh, the patient to be the specimen to be collected and test should be applied so there is a person going at the home of the patient and collecting the specimen but you know where is the laboratory this is the laboratory laboratory is far away it requires 4 hours or 5 hours or 6 hours for the transport transport of the specimen to the laboratory for applying the test but during this transit some bacteria are very delicate they are very delicate they will die they will become dead during this transit time if they don't get the nutrition they will become dead so once the specimen reach the laboratory all the bacteria are dead and you will get false negative report actually bacteria were not absent but on applying the test you will get false negative we do not want that so during this transit during this transit we will give nutrition to the bacteria a small nutrition so that they can survive they will not die they will survive such a nutrition so with the help of transport media we will keep the bacteria in a media known as transport media and so that it will provide a small amount of nutrition so they don't die at least on reaching the laboratory they survive so such a media is known as transport media give me a thumbs up if you got the basic concept behind that so these are used in case of delicate organism for example gonococci which may not survive the ta time taken for the transit to the laboratory the time taken by the transit to the laboratory they will die in between only so for them transport media are required so these all are transport media but learn the three important the most important is carry blair media for enteric organism that is coliform stuart media again for enteric or coliform the third is vr what is the full form of vr vankateshwar raman the name of the scientist was discovered vankateshwar raman a south indian scientist so vr media for the vibrio and alkaline peptone water is also for vibrio so you should learn the important one carry blair stuart vr media so that's all about the media you got it that's all you can see this is stuart this is vr this is glycerol buffer saline these are the i guess you got it these are the transport media so i guess you got it i guess you got it what all are these what are all these can you tell me can you tell me the example enriched enrichment selective differential indicator transport i have told you the definition as well as example so tell me enriched media enriched tell me enrichment enrichment tell me selective tell me selective first tell me these three so can you tell me the examples of these of these so enriched media is such a media which contain blood or serum or egg right so what are the three examples can you tell me three examples i told you number one blood agar number two chocolate agar and number three what was the third one loffler serum slope right blood agar contain blood chocolate contain heated blood and loffler serum slope contain serum this is for streptococcus this is for nizaria and hemophilus and this is for cornibacterium diphtheri so you should know the examples also right that is all about enriched you can be able to identify the ibqs also yes padmavati can you tell me about the enrichment in the enrichment and selective both of them either contain stimulatory substances or inhibitory substances but enrichment is liquid and selective one is solid you know those who are attending the lecture from the beginning i want you to tell the examples enrichment with three liquid examples so all of them are broth tetrathionate broth right the second was selenite f broth and alkaline peptone water i guess you know the name of the bacteria also this is for vibrio this is for uh, dysentery bacteria and this is for salmonella salmonella typhi and paratypha right selective you tell me the three solid media the three solid media the selective media the three solid media i guess the examples were uh, dca uh, the first example was dca the second example was mcconkey mcconkey and what was the third example i just forgot you can tell me you can help me so three examples i told you in the selective also so likewise you should be able to understand their definitions with their examples with their images definition example and images for ibq the so question will be definitely from them in the example you should know the name of the bacteria also which are growing on them you got my point in the differential okay in the indicator i told you only two example wilson blair and macleod you know the converter the chemical in them right the black jet black color in the transport i told you three four important example right likewise you should be able you should be able to tell me the examples of each of them so we will do some questions based on this give me a minute to come on the questions just a second yeah 
so ready for the polls we will be doing some questions on the aerobic media so this completes the portion aerobic media i want all of you to participate so madmix autocoids is already planned next week so next week i am going to take the prostaglandins and ansets portion the complete ansets right and the prostaglandins and some antihistaminics drugs acting for the migraine in the next week so stay tuned for the next week schedule i will launch the schedule on the saturday right so next week is going to be autocoid week don't worry stay tuned for that so can you answer this can you answer this which of the following is an example of enrichment media enrich nahi not enriched i'm not asking enriched enrichment media can you tell me enrichment media what is the definition it contains either stimulatory substance for the bacteria of interest or inhibitory substance for the bacteria of not interest and it is a liquid media it is a liquid media so yes rakesh you are absolutely right what about others rakesh ke alawa aur koi yes what is the correct example so tell me among them which is liquid so this broth is liquid right so selenite at broth yes osama yes ram it is a liquid media which contains stimulatory substances for the bacteria of interest and inhibitory so ram uh, rakesh osama can you tell me the name of bacteria for which it is selenite at broth kaun se bacteria ke liye hota hai for which bacteria it is there selenite at broth it is for which bacteria so selenite at broth is for dysentery bacteria only dysentery bacteria will grow others will not grow so yes the correct answer is a and you all are right you all are right very good you can see the three examples of enrichment media they are in front of you selenite at broth is for dysentery bacteria it is one of them tetrathionate broth and alkaline papton water so the second question is in is in front of you yes yes you all are right dinesh padmavati yes chocolate agar is an example of is it a enrich media or enrichment media or selective media or transport media can you decide chocolate agar is an example of chocolate agar contain heated blood it contain blood it contain heated blood so don't get confused is it enriched or enrichment don't get confused now you already know the answer yes rakesh you are right what about others others are taking time yes can you tell me the correct answer yes you all are right the correct answer is a it is enriched not enrichment enriched media is such a media which contain either blood or heated blood one and the same thing blood or heated blood or it contain ag or it contain serum any of it if it is containing it is known as enriched media you all are right no dinesh it's not b it's a enrichment media contains stimulatory or inhibitory substance chocolate agar do not contain any stimulatory or inhibitory substance now watch the recording from the beginning uh, dinesh please i guess you have missed it so anyways don't worry the correct answer here is a not b i guess you got it right so yes the correct answer here is a so the three example of enriched media blood agar chocolate agar and lofler slow right so they contain either blood or serum or ag that is the thing so the third third question again very easy yes yeah now you are also right so can you tell me the answer blood agar again the same question instead of chocolate i am asking blood instead of chocolate agar the last question was on chocolate agar this question blood agar is an example of enriched or enrichment or indicator or selective so yes again you all are right the same question so the answer is enriched media so instead of chocolate i am asking blood so whether the question is on blood or on chocolate or lofler the answer is going to be same these all are enriched media you all are right you all are right the next question can you tell me mcconkey mcconkey agar is an example of the four options are in front of you is it enriched is it enrichment is it differential or is it synthetic can you tell me the answer what is it mcconkey agar gives pink color and yellow color it gives i have shown you the diagram also the pink color to lactose fermenter and yellow or pale color to non lactose fermenter so basically it is giving different color to different bacteria yes yes ram osama rakesh that's why it is differential media because it is giving different color to different bacteria that's why you can see the pink color to lactose fermenter yellow pale colorless to lactose non fermenter different color different bacteria that's why differential medium so mcconkey is an example of differential you all are right very good very good so most of them are saying the answer is c yes yes dinesh rakesh padmavati yes so the next question is in front of you the next question loffler medium is an example of what loffler loffler i am asking for loffler is it indicator is it selective it is enrichment or it is enriched nobody is right yet no so can you tell me the answer for this write the answer for this not for the last question 
can you tell me the answer for this one yes so i'm asking for lawless media lawless media contain what okay let me give you no it is not enrichment sai it is not rakesh no osama no yes padmavati you are right so lawless medium contains serum let me give you a clue it lawless serum slow lawless medium contains serum now you tell me the answer yes it is a enriched media enriched media is such a media which contain either blood or heated blood or serum or egg any media containing these is known as enriched media so i have told you three examples here i guess you forget it so blood agar chocolate agar what is the third example lawless medium lawless medium contains serum that's why it is an example of enriched not enrichment i guess yes yes padmavati you are right yes dinesh so give me a thumbs up those all who are wrong give me a thumbs up sai rakesh osama you got it the correct answer is enriched it is enriched not enrichment or anything else the correct answer is enriched so correct so students get confused here right so correct answer here is d so can you tell me the next question very easy can you tell me the concentration of agar in um, nutrient agar is it 1% 2% 3% or 4% i told you clearly when i started the lecture and i told you the basic constituents so agar is something which don't have any nutritive value it is only a solidifying medium and always we use 2% agar yes yes we always use 2% agar can you tell me the next question it was a easy one the next one all of the following are examples of enriched media except don't miss the word except so which of the following is not a enriched media can you tell me the four options are are in front of you blood agar chocolate agar lawless serum slope and bile salt bile salt so enriched media is such a media which contain three things the blood the serum and the egg so blood agar contain blood chocolate agar contain heated blood lawless medium contain serum but bile contain bile no so bile is not the answer so correct among them will be d because except is asked so i will go with d you got it so give me a thumbs up yes you all are right you all are right so this is how these all are your pyqs which we are solving here now these are the pyqs of various exams right so correct answer here is d the next question is in front of you all of the following are examples of selective media except except which of the following is not a selective media can you tell me the answer which of the following is not a selective media potassium telluride agar deoxycholate citrate that is dca lj lawrence and jensen lj or nutrient agar or nutrient agar which of the following is not a selective not a selective yes common sense common sense yes nutrient agar is something on which all bacteria grow it is not selective for any one bacteria no all can grow on nutrient so correct answer is d right yes the correct answer is here is d and rest all media are solid media they contain either stimulatory substances or inhibitory substances for the bacteria of interest so you can see the examples of the selective i guess the last question which enrichment media is for vibrio enrichment media is a liquid media i guess all the options are liquid only so this is also broth this is also broth this is also broth so all of them are liquid i guess question is very beautiful all of them are liquid media but tell me which one is for vibrio which one is for vibrio who will tell me the correct answer yes yes ram you are right what about others for vibrio yes for vibrio is alkaline pectone water so i told you three liquid media tetrathionate broth is for salmonella selenite at broth is for dysentery and alkaline pectone water is for vibrio so correct answer here is c alkaline so if i change the question instead of vibrio if i ask salmonella what will be your answer then what will be your answer will change what is your answer now from abcd options are same instead of vibrio i am asking salmonella what is your answer now yes madhuraj yes dinesh osama padmavati what is your answer now if i am asking for salmonella what is the answer of course the answer will become tetrathionate broth yes yes very good very good right and instead of salmonella if i ask for dysentery dysentery what is your answer your answer will become b so it depends what i am asking right so answer will change right so here i would like to stop what uh, sukram verma is asking you want my pharmacology and uh, microbiology so can you tell me the exact topic if i am having the free link for that i can provide you but if i don't have any free link for that uh, i will take that note i am I, I note the topics which you you know ask me you request me to take in the free lect lectures so i am having a big list 
I am getting the request from multiple students throughout the country or throughout the globe. Multiple students send me the request, ma'am, take a lecture on this topic, this topic, this topic, this topic. So I'm making a list. So based on the preferences and high demand, I'm launching the topic. Now this topic also culture media is demanded by many, many, many students. You can't believe. So I have launched this lecture for them. You got my point. So if I'm already having the free link, I will send you that uh, pharmacology link. So cricket library tell me the exact topic of pharmacology which you want if i'm having the link i will definitely provide you you can connect me on this number my contact number is 9833032948 you can connect me either on whatsapp or telegram maybe i will take a day or two to reply you whenever i will get uh, you know the time i will definitely get back to you it can take uh, a few days but i will definitely get back to you as soon as i will get the time right so don't forget to share your name if you wish, your college name, university, exam dates and which exam you are targeting. You are targeting second crop MBBS exams or you are targeting some of the competitive exam that is NEET PG, FMG or INICT or uh, USMLE, whatever. So according to that, I can, you know, selectively give you that links which is more useful for you. So in second crop MBBS exams, you have to write the theory so I can provide you that links that type of lectures your syllabus and for competitive exam you require more and more mcq practice the thorough knowledge with mcq practice so that we can do right so please connect me on the whatsapp i'm having whatsapp groups for the students according to the exam they are targeting according to their colleges so help me to make the whatsapp group of your college or, or your batch or your you know group of students who are interested in one particular subject so you can help me with that. I can provide you the invite link and we can make a group and we can get connected there and daily we can solve some questions and do some activity on that group if you wish. And you can connect me on this number as it is for your doubts also. So anyways, uh, thank you very much for connecting with me and daily attending my live lectures, coming here, interact with me. I really like to interact with you all, right? PDF uh, RAM, I can provide you. You are connected uh, with me on WhatsApp or Telegram RAM. Wherever you are connected, please ask for the PDF with the exact topic because you know many students message me daily. So I get hundreds of messages. So your message can be diluted. So write down your exact topic and exact uh, what do you want. You want a PDF or notes or what do you exactly want. So I will revert you there only either on the WhatsApp or Telegram. Right, you got it. So on Telegram, please ask me. Personally, you can ask me. So thank you very much. All of you, thank you very much. And any other help, study related help you want me, frankly tell me. Consider me as your mentor, not your teacher. Consider me as your friend, your mentor. So I can help you to perform better in your exams, whatever exams you are targeting. For patho, pharma, micro, PSM, medicine, I teach all these subjects, right? So one by one, we will take the subjects, actually the important topics of these and we will cover all these, right? So any other suggestions for improvement or anything, kindly let me know. One more help I require from your side, please share this information and links to all your friends, colleagues, everyone. So that everyone get connected here for the free sessions and we can, we can you know, uh, give knowledge to more and more students, spread the knowledge. And the second thing in the comment session of this session, this session and all my YouTube session in the comments, you can see one link. It is pinned, one link. That link is my link tree my link tree it contains the links of my instagram my facebook my youtube channel you know my telegram my whatsapp group so i want you to connect me on all the medias if i miss you on one of the media you can connect me on other media so please go to the tree link and connect me on all the possible medias where you are not connected and share my tree link link tree with all your friends colleagues batch group batch mates batch groups all the medicos basically throughout the globe thank you very much thank you very much what you are asking uh, for FMG, uh, I'm having few notes to Kate. Can you connect me on the WhatsApp? I will share whatever I am. You have to tell me the exact topic because sending all notes will be very wide, you know. But still, whatever I am having, I can share with you. So you can connect me on the WhatsApp or on the Telegram, whatever you wish. Thank you very much. Bye bye. All the best. See you all tomorrow morning with a new important topic. Tomorrow, every day, I will come live 9 a.m. in the morning. Every day with one new important topic, right? Tomorrow, we are going to cover Eliza all about eliza the various types of eliza the technique the principle direct indirect sandwich everything so that's all about today thank you very much bye bye study hard all the best and uh, that's it i'm ending the session